Hello everyone, this is Ellie Diecast again, and today we're going to do something a little different. Um, Andrew, my son, and I were at a local McDonald's getting our Chicken McNuggets dinner, and um, he got a Happy Meal, and we noticed that the Happy Meal toys were Hot Wheels, and McDonald's and Hot Wheels kind of have a long history. I've covered some of that here on the channel before, but this time we noticed cars were a little different. This is one of them. This was the one he got, and it um, comes with stickers on it. You can see here, there's some stickers that come with it. By the way, the stickers are not easy to put on correctly. There's a lot of them. So for the parents out there, you may want to hide the stickers, right, when you get them, so you don't have to deal with it. But uh, some interesting things about this car. First of all, it's got rubber tires, and in fact, they are not cast particularly well, but... They're soft rubber tires. I don't all know if... All of them had rubber tires. Not all of them. Except about for a truck. Yeah, I think, I think about... Andrew thinks all of them had rubber tires, but I think three or four of them had rubber tires. But um, it's got rubber tires. Also, by the way, these are oversized. So if I get a Hot Wheels car here... Eh, here's one in a package. Here's a Hot Wheels car. You can see a Hot Wheels car is smaller. These are about twice as big in volume. So they're not the regular size, so you can't use these wheels on Hot Wheels unless you wanted super huge wheels on your Hot Wheels. I'm also assuming those axles are much, much bigger than you're going to find in a Hot Wheels. But some other interesting things. This car lights up. And um, let me turn off the lights here. And you'll see this car lights up. It's got light, two lights. There's a light here and a light in the back. And it's got a plastic kind of casing in the center that's bouncing that light around. But they light up. I think that's pretty sweet. So I thought I'm going to get me one of these. And so I did. Let's turn that off. Because I wanted to see how they worked. And whoops. And I just... Mine's a, came apart. Oh, mine's already apart, but I wanted it I wanted it together here in the video to start with. Oh, wait a second. Technical technical problem. <laughs> if I get this together, <laughs> you could see it. There we go. There we go. So here's the car, and I've taken this car apart cuz I wanted to see how it it worked. Oh, by the way, I meant to mention this is the uh, Drift King this red car that we're dealing with. And I think there were eight cars in the series. I have two other ones here, and that's all I could find so far. Um, but this car, when I took it apart, by the way, two posts in this car. There's a post here, and uh, the screw that's in the post has a, you can kind of see it there, it's a triangle bit to screw it in. Unfortunately, I saw that and immediately went to my Dremel. And I drilled this one out, and you could see it took some drilling. It was a pretty hardy screw. And then I tried a regular old um, flathead screwdriver and kind of wedged it into that triangle, and the screw came right out. As usual, second attempt was much easier, much less destructive than the first attempt. But, so you can get the screws out pretty easy. If I take this off, it's got a couple parts. It's got a wing piece here. It's got a wing piece here in the front that comes off. And um, here's the piece that holds the, the wheels. You can see that axle is quite a bit hardier than a regular Hot Wheels axle. Again, just for scale, here's a, uh, here's a scale car. You can see the wheels are much bigger. Axles, much, much bigger. So, yeah, this, this is a pretty hardy piece of plastic, too. I thought that was kind of a neat looking car piece all onto its own. They roll great. Again, rubber tires on them. Then it's got this kind of green piece. I'm assuming that's the shield, the light, so that it doesn't shine out all in one spot. And then inside it has, let me focus there. It has this cool system that when I switch the light, where's my switch? I'm, doing this upside down here here we go when I switch the the light there we go <laughs> get it right when I switch the light it's going to shift everything over 
so that that metal piece touches the batteries. And uh, without its casing, it may all fly apart here. Let's shift that. Oh, I got it all. There we go. There we go. And uh, so you could, in theory, there we go. You could set that up in like a dairy delivery or something if you wanted downlit downlighting on your cars. There's a little, I don't know if that's a diode light. I don't know what that is. Right there and right there. There's two of them. And if you look at the size of a regular Hot Wheels base, that would fit in a lot of things like a dairy delivery or a van, certainly a drag bus, maybe even a little combi. I don't know if it's big enough for a combi. Can you, oh, you're, you're up in your seat. Let me see. Where's that? Uh, there we go. Let's see if that'll fit a little combi. There we go. So here's a combi that we've customized. Let's see if that would fit in there. Yeah, it would fit. It would fit in a combi. Here's the base of the combi. So for you customizers out there, that's a pretty nice little system if you wanted to light some Hot Wheels. So um, let's take a look real quick at the other ones that come in the set. I was a little disappointed. I thought they all lit up. So I thought I, I thought I was a genius and I was going to I was going to uh, stock up on all these cool lit cars. This one is a I forgot a bad mutter, giant size bad mutter, and bad mutter here. And that's my favorite one. Andrew likes this one. He picked this one out. Bad mutter comes with. There's the bag, bad mutter. It comes with some stickers, not as many as the others, fortunately. And I think Bad Mutter, let's see, supposedly, all right, are you really going to make me read the directions, really? All right, reading the directions, there is a, oh, there we go, you pull that up, that's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. You pull it up, and it looks like it's got one light in it. So Bad Mudder comes with a one light system, probably smaller. I don't want to tear him apart. There you go. Turn off the lights. There you go. Bad Mudder's lighting up. Headlights light up. That's pretty cool. I think if you push this down, yep. Turns off. There's Bad Mudder. And then this last one is the Baja truck. I'm pretty sure Baja truck here doesn't. He doesn't light up. I think Baja truck just clicks and supposedly uh, you can kind of just whoops, kind of click him. Eh. Baja truck's boring. Do you like Baja truck? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. All right. Well, you can have Baja truck. Yeah, let's line them all up. Let's get Bad Mudder's engine light on. Let's use yours here, since he's not a part. There you go. And all at McDonald's. I think there's eight in the set, and I'm pretty sure there's at least one more that lights up like this one and one more that lights up like this one. So, again, kind of a cool little light setup for you customizers out there. And um, that is about it. Stickers for the truck. Parents hide the stickers. Stickers take a long time to put on. Um, that'll do it for this video. So let me know if you do anything with those lights. I'm interested. Uh, this has been Ellie Diecast. And Andrew, you want to say bye? Bye. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.